Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have some warrior comments that you all sent in. So thank you and let's get into it. Sandy Moon writes, Spencer needed a nap, so Dex put him to sleep, LOL. San Sandy also commented, I hate that Esme is back in the picture. I hate what they are doing to Trina. Thank you for your comments, Sandy. Sandy, I don't know why Spencer keeps confronting De Dex when Dex gets the best of him. As for what they're doing to Trina, they're going to have Trina in a nut house. She needs to do something. Lisa Cornella writes, I am very disheartened about the Trina progress. They posted a picture of Spencer and the baby at the pool. Esme and Ava and T were there too. If they were filming this yesterday, we should see it in a few weeks. Thank you for that comment, Lisa. Gosh, so many people are writing that they are disappointed in the Sprina storyline. I think I'm going to have to call Dex to um, knock Spencer down again. He acts like he's blind if he can't see what Esme is doing to him. She's doing the same thing she did in the past before she claimed she had the amnesia, which is blocking Trina and Spencer from being together. Thank you for your comment. Lisa also says that on July 14th, Trina is overcome with emotion. Thank you for that, Lisa. We will see if that's about Spencer being with es Esme or about something else. Andrea Wellberg says, I will be tuned out of GH until July 14th. I did not like what the writers did in the first place. They should have kept the guy Trina was first with if this is what the trash they set her up for. Thank you for commenting, Andrea. I guess you, you are referring to Rory. Yeah, they killed Rory's character off because of past statements the actor, because of statements the actor made in the past. But I still think that Spencer and Trina will pull it together despite the naysayers. Cheryl D. Francesco writes, Why are they letting Spencer leave the show? It hurts so much when two people love each other. Something always gets in the way. People and writers, please let Esme go and leave the show, not Spencer. Can never watch the show again. It's going to get boring. Esme needs to get a real life. No one likes the evil witch. Spencer and Trina should have run away and got married, not leave the show. If there is a will, there is a way. There's a response. Please respond, my good people that watch GH. I'm going to miss Spencer. Trina, don't give up. He is worth the wait. Thank you for your comment, Cheryl. I read that the actor who plays Spencer, Nicholas Chavez, is taking a temporary leave of absence to go film a project for Netflix. He won't be, his role won't be recast. As for Trina leaving the show, Cheryl, I haven't heard anything about Trina leaving, so if you know anything, shoot me a text. JNBP writes, I don't understand this double standard between Sprina and Joss and Dex. It is getting on my nerves and the writers need to get it together. Thank you for your comment, JNBP. Yeah, I'm receiving a lot of, a lot of feedback 
from the family with the family saying Joss and Dex get all the airtime together, but it's not the same for Trina and Spencer. I think it will change, though. Keep your heads up. Sabrina Hughes writes, Thank you so much for the recap. Okay, the writers are so getting on my nerves regarding the Sprina storyline. Trina had no business telling Josh Spencer's business. Now, what if Dex goes and tells someone? We know very little about Dex. I don't remember Dex in any scene with Esme. Yet, do you... I think Trina is headed for a big reality check. I just hope Spencer is there to catch her when she falls. Regarding Spencer, I keep telling you guys he is frustrated. It's been over a year. Thank you so much for your comments, Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina, you know what the solution is to his frustration. Wink, wink. From Angela Clark, she writes... Spencer needs to learn how to box if he's going to fight everybody. Thank you for your comment, Angela. Dex is smaller in stature. I don't know why Spencer can't just beat him down. In regards to Lisa's comment, Kizzy Hartsfield writes, Esma and Ava are not there. Trina and Ava R. Thank you for correcting that, um, Kizzy. I guess that as that episode will air July fourteenth. Marsha Leon or Leon writes, "Oh, I didn't see this spoiler. I wonder will what that will bring." Hey, Marsha. I don't know. We'll have to be watching um, July fourteenth. Thank you. Sandy Moon writes, I totally agree with New Creature about Sprina. They need to bring in a new man for Trina and let Spencer and Esme go their way, far from Trina. If the writers keep treating Trina with disrespect, it's goodbye, GH, for me. Well, thank you for your comment, Sandy. The consensus is that the writers are being disrespectful to the um, tr character of Trina and that many of you are vowing to leave if the storyline does not improve. There is a general hospital comment feedback line but it's a recording where you can leave your comments and concerns about general hospital. I'll provide it when I locate it. Thank you. Larry Williamson says, like Dex said, the first one is free. The next one will cost you. It did. Thank you for that comment, Larry. Larry is referring to when Dex retaliated and knocked Spencer on his keister. Andrea Welberg says, the storyline that G.H. is doing with Baby Ace reminds me of A.J. and Keisha and Carly. They are similar, but a tad different. Thank you for your comment, Andrea. I don't remember the A.J., Keisha, and Carly storyline. Yaz Way says, Spencer needs to take some fighting classes he is too big to keep getting his butt kicked. He needs some skills. Not saying I want him to fight, but I don't want him to lose either. Someone give him some boxing lessons. His uncle, Sonny, owns a gym. He can't afford a trainer. Just saying. Thank you for your comments, Yaz Way. Spencer, stop picking fights with Dex. He always gets the best of you. Hajia Sophia just sent in a series of emojis crying and laughing. Thank you for your um, 
text Hajia. Cindy's Christ writes, Yes, I think Spencer and Esme will fall in love for the real for real and I'm all for it. Esme has changed from her old ways. Esme accepts Spencer for who he is, where whereas Trina blasts him and they're always fruiting. He is really going to notice this and begin to appreciate Esme more. Thank you for your comments, Sandis. The reason Trina always scolds Spencer is justified. Spencer walks around picking fights on people. He lets Esme manipulate him. She has a right to um, be upset with Spencer. And if Spencer is going to notice Trina's behavior, he better focus on Esme. She is crooked as a dog's hind leg. Thank, thank you for commenting. Trina Brown sent in a contradictory comment. Trina says, no, Spencer isn't falling for Esme. He loves Trina. I don't want Esme and Spencer together. I watched today's episode and I didn't see it, but... In Greenland, they definitely, I definitely saw Trina and Spencer. And I hope and pray Trina doesn't listen to her mom. I know Spencer and Trina can get through this. I saw it in her eyes, and I know it is. Just that Sprina fans been waiting to see Spencer and Trina for a long time. Thank you so much for your comment, Trina. I think the writers are purpose, purposely leading us down the path that um, Esme and Spencer will get together. Spencer despises Esme for trying to for drugging Trina and for getting pregnant by his father. I don't think he wants to go dip in the same punch bowl with a ladle that his father has dipped in. Thank you so much for your comment. Babs H writes, yes, they have a mutual respect and love for each other and it spills over into their characters coming across on the screen. I love their energy and correction, connection. They both are wonderful people and actors. Thank you for your comments, Babs H. They were both here in my neck of the woods a few weeks back. And they do have a wonderful rapport with one another. Nikki Phillips echoes that sentiment. Nikki says, you know Spencer and Trina are good friends. They hang out with each other outside of GH. And by the looks of it, they are pretty close. I watched the billboards that the fans did for them and they were there that night in the rain and they were like hu hugging up together in the rain. I just think some, some people, they will never do anything right, no matter what. But like I said, I love them since the beginning. Thank you for your comment, Nikki. As I said, Trina and Spencer do have a good rapport outside of work, and the fans receive them very well. Thank you. Bonnie Wynn writes, I think the five young adult actors are exceptional, exceptional, period. I wish them all the best. They are all so talented. I hope that when the GH writers return, they will have better creative storylines. I support all writers and artists and getting for them getting their just treatment. They deserve all the best to them. Thank you for your comment, Bonnie. Bonnie, I think the storylines are changing, but for the other cast members, I read that 
um, Susan, Susan, Susan Lucci, who played Erica Kane, may be joining the cast of General Hospital. And also Steve Burton, who plays Jason Morgan, is returning back to GH. Along with Lois, Ned's old wife and Brooklyn's mother, wonder if this will cut into the Trina Sprina storyline. Dorothy Lindsay writes, Those words not only pierced his heart, but he couldn't believe Trina said them. Trina just may have lost Spencer because this is the second time that she has said that to him. Trina is going to be in for a very rude awakening real soon because her bestie Jocelyn is not her bestie and her mom is the mom from hell. Looks like the writers have decided to break up them up. Hopefully not so. Didn't like the comments that Sam and Dante made about Spencer either. Just my opinion. Esme is getting ready to go in for the seduction of Spencer unless he actually puts her out and locks the door. Hopefully he has Trina on the other line so she can hear him yelling at Esme to get out. But they are playing Trina so naive right now she probably won't even answer the phone. Cam needs to come back and tell Trina what really happened. Then she will know what and why Spencer feels like he does and what Jocelyn never told her except for what she wanted to just might, just might be too late. Thank you for your comments, Dorothy. It's high time Trina sees Jocelyn for who she is. She's always in Trina's business but keeps secrets about her and that mercenary Dex Heller. Sabrina Hughes writes regarding Spencer. The actor who plays Spencer is going to be leaving GH temporarily to star in Monster. He will be playing Lau Menendez, the actor article says that he won't be recast. This, this is why the writers are making Trina very anger, bitter, and mad, and I think a little bit self-righteous. Like all the negative stuff that is said about all black women. Writers, you need to do better. They need to let her go on with her life until Spencer gets his gets his s together, and if she finds someone else, so be it. She has done enough to show him that she loves him, and now it is his turn. When will that happen? Maybe after the actor finishes filming his film. Just my thoughts. Thank you for your comments, Sabrina. I think that Trina's upset because of Spencer's inability to control himself. He, he's too emotional and he flies off, off the handle too soon. I don't think she's angry. Only at him. Now, as for how the other black women have been portrayed on the soaps. I need to go back and analyze this. I'm hearing so much about it. Thank you for your comment. Lisa Cornella writes, Oh, I'm not blaming NAC Nicholas Alexander Chavez for following the script, but he was really cheerleading Sprina, and I feel like maybe he was leading fans a bit. It was never going to happen. I am disgusted. Thank you for your comment, Lisa. I still think the writers are going to, be, to do a very special storyline with Spencer and Trina. After all, they're getting good ratings. Their popularity has soared. And if they want to keep the fans, they better do what's right. Angela Clark writes, Trina and Spencer are the show. Nobody is looking at Joss and Dex. 
All she talks about is getting Sunny and her and Dex are always in the bed or on that dirty couch. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Angela. Now, I haven't noticed the dirty couch, but I know that they always in the sack, Joss and Dex, that is. I think that Jocelyn is turning a little bit, changing a little bit because of her mother, and she's beginning to see Sonny differently. If Carly doesn't want to take him down, she's looking at Sonny in a different light. Lula Allen writes, Portia is up to her old tricks to bring Esme and Spencer together as a couple to get Spencer out of Trina's life. There's a possibility that Trina may move into Laura's house with Spencer. Thank you for your comment, Lulu. Lula. I certainly hope so. The drive in Esme insane. That would be the ideal storyline. Desma Walker writes, Something ain't right about Spencer's behavior. All we know, Spencer can be a handful but he doesn't usually pop off like this without a reason. I need for Trina to kick in her spidey, those spidey senses of hers and investigate what's going on with Spencer. She's been around him long enough to know when there's something wrong. So I need for her to get on the case and not be dismissive so quickly. Spencer's a hard nut to crack, but if anyone if anyone can get him to open up, it will be her. Thank you for your comment, Desma. I agree with you. Something is going on with Spencer. Why does Dex trigger those emotions when he sees him? Maybe he's jealous. I don't know. Or maybe it's because he's with Joss and that Cameron and Joss broke up. Could be a myriad of things. Thank you for commenting. Marsha Green writes, The difference is Spencer is the leading white male and Trina is the leading black female. GH has no problem with TJ and Molly reversing those roles would be a problem. Spencer is their lead man and going with a dark-skinned sister is a no-no. This is my take on Sprina. Thank you for your comment, Marsha. The writers knew what they were doing when they cast the role of Spencer and Trina. They knew that it would be controversial. I think what we have here is differing factions, one on the pro-Trina side and one against the Sprina side. And the writers are torn. They don't want to alienate the viewers. But sti I still think for the hundredth time that they're going to bring them together. They would not have brought us all the way through this just to leave us disappointed. Yaya Domo writes, GH is known for doing this. Thank you for your comment, Yaya. As I said, I will be analyzing the history of GH with interracial couples. Well, that's it for this week's comments. Please send me your thoughts, your comments, and your theories to the Daytime Drama Queen, and we will discuss later. Until then, ta-ta!